In this tutorial, you will learn how to execute test plans created with Rico Plan in the Arco Control Test Plan mode. To learn how to create test plans for Arco 400, please watch the Rico Plan video tutorial. There are two ways to execute Rico Plan test plans. The first is to execute a test plan directly from within the Rico Plan software. After you have opened or created a test plan, select Execute Test Plan to start Arco Control. In Arco Control, connect to your Arco 400 or select the Demo Mode. Your test plan is now loaded and ready for execution. Alternatively, if you are working in the field, you might prefer loading a previously created test plan. To do this, first connect to the test set and then select the test plan mode in the Arco Control software. To display the available test plans, select the folder where your test plans are stored in the folder selection. The list shows all available test plans in the selected folder. However, you can only load test plans that were created for the adapter that is currently connected to your test set. A test plan can be identified by its name and the location for which it was created. The creation date and version are also displayed for reference. After loading a test plan, a list with all available tests is shown. On the left-hand side, you can assess the hardware configuration to change settings such as the load current, frequency, and nominal voltage if required. In the bottom section, you can quickly see information on previously executed tests. Now let's start with the tests in the test plan. To run a test, simply click on the tool in the list. This will open up the module and allow you to immediately execute the predefined test. After execution, proceed to the Home screen. You will be notified about the assessment of the test and have the option to enter a comment. The status column will indicate whether a test has passed or failed after being executed. You can also change the test assessment, clear results, or add comments for the report. In every tool, you have the ability to go back in the workflow process to check the settings being used for the test. If required, you can also modify test parameters, for example, increase the tolerance. After executing all tests within the test plan, create a test report by clicking on the Create Report button. Once you have entered a file name and filled in any additional report information, hit the Save Report button to generate an HTML and XML test report. This report will be stored in the Report folder defined in the Folder Selection screen. To look at the generated report, the easiest way is to click the Report button on the title bar at the top of the window. The folder where your reports are stored opens up and you can view the report by double-clicking on the item.